Hello, hello. It's time for... Oops, wrong one. Blue Team Gaming, Gaming Dinosaurs Day. Also, you can probably see now, I have a huge black eye from, uh, I was doing some housework yesterday and uh, dropped a screwdriver on my face when I was on the ground. And I've never had a black eye. It didn't hurt that much, but boy, does it look horrible. So, gotta check, check the chat here quick. Nothing. Uh, yeah, but so today, I uh, this one goes out to my dinosaur loving friends, Matt and Leif, who, oh, it's still loading up. Oh, okay. It goes to my dinosaur friends, Matt and Leif, who uh, apparently also love dinosaurs. I don't know if they love dinosaurs, but I we share decks, and so this is kind of going to be one of those videos where I wanted to kind of show off this cool deck that it actually came up in, we'll go and check occasionally, like, uh, I think it's MTG, uh, I don't know what it's called. Let me let me check quick so I get the name right. MTG Goldfish, where they collect lists. And this is a Jund dinosaur deck. So for the people who are not in the know, which was me not that long ago, uh, Jund is black, red, green, as you can see up here. Boop, 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 boop. Um, and this is all about big dinosaurs. So if you are sick of all the control, all the tricks, things like that, you know, and you're just like, God, I just want to hit my opponent with a big boy, this is what we're after. This is what we're playing. All right, so let's just kind of go through some of the cards just so we know what is kind of going on. So the cards that, I mean, let's start with the cards that kind of win you the game. I mean, you know, this is a little bit, I don't want to say it's unusual, but a lot of times decks will have, you know, some cards that help, you know, some cards might draw, it might draw me cards or it might remove a threat or it might cause my opponent to discard or, you know, any, any number of things, counter spell, things like that. Um, then obviously there's the cards, your win condition in this deck. And, to, and you know, in, in many decks, like a win condition is going to be, um, it's going to be like creatures, right? Big creatures or just some kind of combo, maybe. But in this this deck, pretty much is so many. It's mostly big creatures that help you win the game. And I don't mean that's mostly the win condition. I just mean literally most of the cards are big creatures that win the game. So right, we can start kind of win at the high end, right? We're gonna have Galta, Galta, big boy Galta here, legendary dinosaur. Spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total power of creatures you control. So it's cost 12 normally, but we can't quite see that because my camera's in the way. That's okay. Cost 12 normally is what his normal casting cost is. He's got two green and uh, 10 colorless. That's what he costs. And he costs less for every power and creatures. So we gain power really easily in this deck. So can we see this one? Yeah. So we got cards like Regisaur Alpha, right? For five mana, we get seven power. That's going to mine Skalta by seven. This bad boy, four mana gets us five power. Ripjaw, four mana gets us four power. Tons of power coming out of these big boys. And our, you know, so these are all kind of like really good threats here. So like in very mid-rangey threats, right? So we're actually, this deck, when you look at Galta, you kind of think like, oh man, must be a really high-end deck. Like really, no, we're looking to get about five mana. Four or five mana is where we want to sit. We don't want any more than that. Um, because we've got cards like, uh, Shifting Ceratops, so this is a new one out of M20, you can see, uh, Protection from Blue, you can spend some mana to give it Reach, Trample, Haste, but, you know, most of the time, if we have it, we're gonna be going for the, probably the Haste and Trample. Uh, cards like Ripjaw Raptor has Engage, or has Enrage, whenever Ripjaw Raptor is dealt damage, draw a card, that's pretty good. 4-5 is a healthy body, got a good, got a good butt on him there. Uh, Collision Colossus to help us push through a little damage. So Collision can help us to get rid of some of those pesky flyers. We do not fly in this deck. We don't do anything like that. That's too tricky for this type of deck. We're just dinosaurs, big dinosaurs. That's it. Um, yeah, but so we're mainly using it for the Colossus though. Is good. Plus two, plus four, plus two gains trample until end of turn. Uh, then this is kind of the new one out of M20, and this is what pretty much justifies putting black. If you look right, we can see no other black cards. This is the only one. But boy, is it a heck of a black card, right? So. Obviously, at the beginning of your upkeep, discard a card. Not great from that perspective, but a 3-mana 7-6 that cheap makes your Galta 7 cheaper, right? This All of a sudden, this Galta is 5-mana. Now, very unlikely that Rotting Regisaur was the first card we played. But still, that's a massive, massive discount. Um, if we have something else on the board, right, on turn 5, I've definitely had turn 5s where it's like Rotting Regisaur for 3-mana and then a 2-mana Galta. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, we're playing one Thrashing Brawn to Dawn just because, again, got a nice big butt on him for defense. And it's, you know, getting being able to destroy an artifact or enchantment strong. Uh, I've got down here on the lower end, we've got a couple good cards here. We've got Odapek Huntmaster, which is out of Ixalan, obviously, the Ixalan block. Uh, dinosaur, dinosaur, bleh, dinosaur spells you cast cost one less to cast. 
and give a dinosaur haste, which is really great, right? So again, this is really awesome if we're dropping the rotting regisaur, right? We might want, we would like our seven attack creature to have haste. We would like our 12, 12 trampler to have haste. Uh, we didn't mention this earlier, but Regisaur Alpha gives you uh, other dinosaurs you control of haste, and it summons a 3 3 green dinosaur creature token with trample. So that can give our Galt a haste too, but right, given creatures is haste, and it's just a mana accelerator, right? Dinosaur spells cost one less to cast. Uh, then we also have Marauding Raptor, which is also kind of a way to make cards cheaper, but also a threat, which is nice. Um, right, so we've got creature spells you cast, cost one less to cast, so that's all creature spells, so most of our deck, like we said earlier, and then whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Marauding Raptor deals two damage to it. If a dinosaur is dealt damage this way, Marauding Raptor gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. So this is pretty good because, like I said, all our dinosaurs have uh, big butts on them, so they can take take a beating from our from Marauding Raptor. Trick can be is if you get two of these out, now all of a sudden you actually are in a little bit of danger here because we can't play the Bronchodon, we can't play the Ceratops, we can't play the Regisaur Alpha because they all just get dealt four damage. So that's bad. But a lot of times having one of these or two of these out is okay because a lot of our guys are, we got a lot of big boys. Um, the plus two plus zero can also be helpful. Main creatures cheaper too, though, is also really good, especially on a two, three body for two, right? So unlike your other mana accelerated acceleration type cards, right? Marauding Raptor. So, right. A lot of times we're used to maybe uh, like Incubation Druid or Llanowar Elves or um, Paradise Druid, right? All one and two toughness creatures. So the, they get removed really easily marauding raptor you got to have that three damage spell to get rid of them uh then to kind of wrap this up commune with dinosaur is very just a good um a solid way to smooth out your draws look at the top five cards of your library you may reveal a dinosaur or a land card from among them put it in your hand put the rest on the bottom in any order so yeah that's that's basically the deck just very straightforward just straightforward big dinosaurs right we're not no tricks nothing like that uh, i anticipate this deck is going to suffer a lot to um, let's see what our sounds at. We're a little quiet. I, this deck is going to suffer a lot to board wipes because we do not redraw that easily. We don't want to go up that go up very high, but a little high. Sure. Cool. Let's grab our big dinos. Uh, no, nope, we want to go home. We want to go play, and we'll go to ranked. I was playing the Mizzet deck, but we'll go big dinos in ranked. I think we're still in silver, so hopefully it's not bad. Today is typically a bad day to play in ranked because everyone who's trying to rank up is basically like, playing on the ladder on it's a sunday right so everyone everyone's on there playing their best decks because this is their day to essentially like yeah get get all those wins play all day i'm gonna just grind away get my gold tier let's see how we're doing acceleration so this isn't looking too bad three lands to start out with we've got a two drop we have collision colossus we got galta nothing wrong with this uh unclaimed territory is nice in this deck so as enters the battlefield, we choose a creeper, creature type. Uh, we can add one colorless at any time, and then we can add one mana of any color and spend that mana to cast only that creature type. So obviously we are choosing the dinos. We're going to start with the stomping ground, though, because we don't have any one drops. So we're going to play it tapped and hope our opponent can't do anything. All right. Another stomping ground. So we don't need to play the stomp. We have a ripbound crag, which will come in untapped. We have unclaimed territory, which will let us play dinosaur, but... We're going to play this, and yeah, pretty obvious Huntmaster here. Get on out there, make our dinos cheaper. So now, if he doesn't get rid of the Huntmaster, we got the Ceratops coming out with... With haste, probably. Alright, so do we Ceratops out with haste, or do we do something else? I'm pretty sure... So we'll play this one, and we want a dino. I'm pretty sure I'm playing this and giving it haste so we'll tap this have haste buddy get him that's yeah, pro blue you smart you smarty pants <sighs> goodbye galta hardly knew ye that is a bummer though we would have crunched him real good we were still gonna be crunching him here he can't block this profitably he's going to 10. he's going to 10. see you later it's the Galta. Get rid of get rid of the Galta. Kill 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 three R. The Galta. Okay, good. That was a close one. That would have been, been embarrassing. I'd been very embarrassed for him if he had not taken the Galta. <gasps> okay. So here is why we run this ridiculous nonsense. So let's see. So I've got so I've got four mana here. This is gonna cost me two. Wow. So we're gonna play this. Make sure I get this right. 
Yeah, we're gonna play this tap. We're gonna play this untapped. We're gonna shock in. I'm gonna play the register, give it haste, and then I'm definitely we're colossusing it just to bash him so Oh my god, am I gonna Oh, we're gonna bash him so hard. So, hey, killer, this is a, those, that's a cute 2-2 two -two you got there. You know, I was just thinking, that's a really cute 2-2 two -two you've got. But, uh, here comes some dinosaurs. So we're going to put a little stop after blockers. He's like, yeah, I'll just, I'll chump block it. I'll just chump block it and you're dead. Get out, get out of here, killer. See you later, Kill3R. Sorry, buddy. And so now you see the power of dinosaurs. Wow, ranking up. Whew, getting them dino, getting them dino ranks, them dino stars. Oh, a reward. Chandra's triumph, cool. Um, yeah, we're on our way. You can see I've already played some games today. I put together a junker deck. Let's, more dinos. Keep them going, keep it coming. So yeah, you can, you can see the power, right, of just being able to give your dinosaurs haste, being able to give them trample. Like, that guy thought he was fine. He was like, I'll chump block a 7-6. Easy. Wrong. You won't chump block a 7-6. You'll die. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, I think I'll keep this because I can dump this for the scry. Try and find another land. It's a little greedy, right, because I don't have any... So I don't have any red mana but I'm not, I'm holding only a five mana red card right now. So and I'm gonna, my opponent goes first. So I'm gonna draw and I'm gonna have the scry. Two lands already in hand. I think I keep this. It's not ideal, right? We don't have any acceleration here. That's not good, but. And if we draw our acceleration, we can't play it because we don't have any red mana. See, maybe maybe I should mulligan. Maybe this is bad. But if this is like an aggro deck where we're not under a lot of pressure to win fast, which is most the best of one, so I don't, I think I'm gonna keep, we're gonna keep this hand because if I can just, right, get Big Butt, bra, big, big butt Brontodon out there, Big Butt Ripjaw Raptor, we're gonna be fine. Yeah, so this is gonna be an aggro deck. It's gonna be a little scary because we're behind already on the board. It's gonna be a little scary because they're gonna have a board, right? We're not playing any creatures till turn three, so. Do I need four mana? I mean, I absolutely need four mana in this deck. So I think we keep that. I mean, I absolutely need four. Yep, this is gonna get scary fast, I think. Okay. But the nice part is, is right. I mean, the nice part is no damage turn one, played this. Um, I got to play my tap land. I got to play um, Overgrown Tomb untapped, so right, he's gonna deal two to me here, but this, if I had to shock this in to play something, I would've taken the two anyways, so. And so here's where I'm hoping we can stabilize a little bit because, I, yeah, let's play this. Dinosaur. And then we get just big old Brontodon out there who just successfully, he blocks against all this stuff, so. We are in a little bit of a bind here because, right, Gideon's gonna come down. Gideon's gonna get us. See what's gonna happen. All right, it looks like the stream's doing fine. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. All right, so he's sending his nerds. The problem is this thing's gonna be able to exile. Maybe it's not that good though. He's gonna exile a non-land permanent. Like, what does it matter? I mean, I'm just gonna have more and more and more dinosaurs. So does that actually matter to me all that much? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, this kind of stinks. I really wish we could get the, uh, I mean, are we just playing the Ripjaw here? Yeah, we're just playing the Ripjaw here. Like, if he wants to attack us with this, that's fine. If he has another Conclave Tribunal, I guess he's just a better better player than us. You know, it's part of life. Okay, Dauntless, that's okay. So I have to hope he at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He needs one more permanent to get me. It looks, he's looking at the Ripjaw and it looks like he's gonna Conclave it again. Um, which might be, oh, wow. Wow, 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 unreal. So I think we're just dead here. Your light will cleave the he gave it lifelink. He gave it lifelink. Okay. 
Uh, I think we're dead anyways, though, sadly. Yeah, we're definitely dead. Just bad. Just kind of bad luck. Can we live anyway here? So Gideon's going to come at... Gideon can just literally get rid of anything we play, and then it's for... Yeah. Good game, Absolute Soar. Although, very bad luck on me, him having two Conclave Tribunals. What can you do, though? It's just the way it is. I mean, like I said, this deck, right, we didn't have a, we didn't, I mean, playing second, always going to hurt this deck. Um, if he has, right, like, really efficient removal, so like that Conclave Tribunal, man, just knocks us out, right? Because he can play a guy, remove our, remove our guys, he can play another guy, remove our guys, like, super, it's super easy for him to do with us, so. Um, this is a great opening hand, we're going to go find ourselves, sweet, yeah, we can, the nice part is we'll commune with dinosaurs, look for... You know, hopefully, maybe a register or look for um, the three mana expensive one. So, I think I'm gonna enter this. I'm gonna pay the life because I wanna get this done with. And this is what we're looking for. Got ourselves some Diet Coke. Feeling good. Let's see where this is pointed. Pointed down, pointed up. I don't know. So, yeah, kind of drew on our high end. Didn't get any of our accelerators. Let's put this guy over here, this guy down here. Do we play the Brontodon or the Regisaur? Probably the Regisaur. I mean, he's got... It's looking scary for him, honestly. There's really not anything good here for him. I mean, this is the nice part, though, about drawing all this high end stuff. Like, the issue is I don't really put a lot of pressure on him. So he probably gets rid of... What did he get rid of? Oh, the Regisaur. I mean, it's not great, right? Because I had I have two three drops right now, so it's not like I'm dinosaur done. And get out there, Bronto. Get out there, Bronte boy. I mean, if he makes us discard another card, that's gonna stink pretty hard. Not sure. So he is Grixis. It looks like four different lands already. That's spooky. Narset, huh? So you know, find something, which is kind of okay with us. Find the Thought Erasure, which is fine by us. I think we're playing this, right? This is a very good draw for us, so we're going to say Dino. Because um, we're going to play the Regisaur, right? Um, let's commune first, I think. So I need another land to play my Regisaur Alphas, so I think I have to get them. Have I played a land this turn? I think so. So maybe I grab a Blood Crypt? And, no, let's make sure we get this one. And we're gonna play this. Surprise, you thought it was gone. And let's get rid of that thing. I don't want you drawing cards. So this turn, if he plays this, we're pretty happy with that. Like, especially if that's all he does. If he doesn't play any, cre if he doesn't any creatures to play, that'd be quite good. Don't play this. Um, okay. If he wants to get rid of this, that's pretty good for me, actually. And he does, okay. Because, I mean, the interesting thing is, that is, um... Uh, let me hold on. Let me think about this. Stomping ground or that? Uh, we can play this one. Nice part is, is that right? If he had made me remove a card, I also would have had to discard a card. Now I guess he would have still lost this. So he's definitely gonna make me discard the Galta here. But nice part is, so let's do that. You go there. A little bit in trouble here. Although Grixis, it kind of depends what he has. This four mana, or this five mana. If he has a Ritual of Soot. Oh wow, enters tapped, huh? What is he gonna do? A Liliana would hurt us, but he must not have it. Is he serious? He's gonna kill the Regisaur, right? Yeah, he's gotta, okay. Is this, is this happening to me? Is this really happening? So let me, st if I play the Regisaur, how much mana is that? That's uh, nuts, that's all the lands, huh? I mean, I, I think we're just running out more and more Regisaurs, right? Yeah. Regisaur Alpha, come on down! So one here, and then 
Because he's starting to get low, so he needs a way to, like, clear this board. Now, Rich, like I said, Ritual of Soot basically... Um, oh, wow. I do not... I don't think I care about this in the slightest. Because even if he does 3 damage to everything, we are going to bop him. Oh, he's dead. Right? Yeah. Make some more room to sure. Because uh, this has haste, so... This one's for you, Grixis. See you later. Bam! 12! See you later. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I guess I did get sort of lucky that game, though, because he probably was very upset. I mean, if I were him, he'd probably... If I were him, I'd be like, You're so lucky you keep drawing those Regisaur Alphas. This is so frustrating. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Let's keep going. Let's keep trying it. So we're, what, 2-1 two and, two and one right now so far with this deck? It's super fun deck, though. Super fun. Especially if you like if you like the big dinos. Yeah, it's great. So I can give you a little background why I chose to make this deck. This deck cost me a few rares because I had to make these marauding rat Oh, okay, let me think here. So I can play this turn one, commune with dinosaurs, I can look for cards. Um, I have two cards to make things cheaper. We have ripped out Okay, yeah, 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 this is a good hand. If I find a land, I think I want to find a land with this. Oh, do I want to shot in? Maybe. It's a little scary. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I might be hurting myself. So do I just land here? Or do I get more beefy boys? I think I get a land, and I think we just get the swamp here. Although, we're going to have two green with the unclaimed territory. Or do I just get the forest? We have the red and the green. Yeah, I, I never need more than... Okay. I never need really more than two red, or one red. Put our lands over there. It's a little spooky though. So next turn, probably Marauding Raptor because we want to be able to deal with these things. I want to be able to deal with these fanatical firebrands. Okay, thank goodness it doesn't have haste. I can probably deal with my stuff. So this is where things are going to get a little spooky, but this is our best defense right now. And especially if he can't kill this, we're going to dump out this Ripdaw Raptor. Then we got a nice wall here. Nice, nice wall. He's looking at it, though. That's spooky, right? He's looking at it. He's going to zap it. Nothing has graveyard, though. So that's good for us so far. Okay, I'll take that. Get rid of your own creatures. That's great. Sure. Don't have a lightning strike one time? I think if he had a lightning strike, he would have zapped it. So we're probably okay. But the problem is that these are, I'm guessing, good cards. All right. Okay, there's the Hunta, Hunta Otepec, whatever he is. So... Let's play this first. We'll say dinosaur. Um, we're gonna get that out there. And then I'm gonna look. I think I'm gonna grab a land if I find one. I mean, this is good. Red deck actually has a really hard time dealing with this, so maybe I should take this. Uh, but I have so much meat already to guard myself that if I don't draw a land next turn, maybe I just take it? Because then no matter what, I'll be able to play a really big boy, you know? Although, getting the Ripjaw out there is insanely good, too. Or the Registore Alphas. Let's... I mean, I'm going to die. I'm not going to die from having... Let's view battlefields. Can I... Uh, look at the bottom. How many lands have we put down there? Two? Um, okay. Let's grab... Yeah, let's grab the Registore. It's probably... It might be wrong. I'm not I'm not quite sure. I think it's right to grab the register here. Uh, that's okay. Sack this. Please do it. Do it. Do it. Sack it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. Because I am definitely playing this, and he will not attack us anymore, is my thought. Diamond Knight. Yeah, this is fine. So do I get rid of... Probably just a Registore Alpha, right? We're not that close to playing it. Ugh, that's kind of gross. I think I get another big booty dinosaur out there, though. Yeah. Um, let's wait for now. I want to be able to block. What? Why is he playing this? So whenever you cast Spell the Chosen Color, uh, that's fine. That does nothing for me. That doesn't scare me at all. Like, this thing is never going to get big enough to deal with me, right? 
Would he be stupid enough to block this if I attack with it? Do I get rid of this? I can't play anything else this turn, right? Um, no, let's get rid of it. Land? Nope. Let's get him. Let's just bash him good. If he blocks with these two, because they have first strike. Oh yeah, he thinks this is going to be a good idea. Oh, God bless him. God bless him for thinking that was a good idea. Yep, yeah. um, and then you can uh, say goodbye to your chain whirlers. Oh, and I'll keep my 7-6, by the way. Thanks, bud. Delightful. So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, I would say that was a pretty good trade, is how I would describe that one. Oh my god, I really need to, uh, is he gonna attack? What do you do? What do you got here? I'll block, yeah. I'll for sure block that. I mean, is he gonna zap it for three? I mean, I'll trade, I don't care. Yeah, kill it, who cares? So probably the Regisaur Alpha here. Okay, good. Do I pay the life though? Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll see if he blocks. Oh boy, okay. And all right then, okay. So it's pretty unlikely he's gonna be able to kill us here. It's pretty likely he's dead, unless this is something incredible, but Chain Whirl is good. It is uh, not incredible, I would say. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, for sure, I'll draw another card here. Oh, did this have first strike? No, oh, thank goodness. Um, get rid of that. <laughs> Let's play that. Um, do I want the Marauding Rat? I mean, it's better than if I get another land, I suppose. So let's keep it. So is he dead? I think so. He can only block three of this. I can bump it up to four more, right? It's going to be 11. Eight. That's it's exactly what I need, right? Yeah, it's exactly what I need. Okay. So pause, stop after blockers. Is he gonna let it go through? He might just let it go through thinking like, well. Sorry, buddy. So remember when I thought about not taking the Regisaur? Cause it was a long time before we were able to play a four mana dino in that game. Holy cow. That was pretty good. <gasps> Who's going to gold tier? Ooh, 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 ooh. It's horrible in gold tier. That's where it gets hard. Wow, when you get to gold tier, they're like, here's Coruscant 2020 pack, and here's an Iron Root Warlord, and here's a Soren Vampire Lord. I am bound to nothing beyond my own obligation. Oh, this is like the the bad one or something? Tell him to turn each vampire you control gains tap, gain control target creature. Oh, you just gotta give him to eight. So you just have to tick him up for four turns in a row, and then have vampires on the board. All right. Uh, let's open our pack. Mythic rare, mythic rare, mythic rare. One time. Mm, mm -mm. Not a mythic rare. Um, we're gonna do a couple more. I should probably see how long I've been going. I'm not certain yet. Let me see. Where, do, where does the person even look for that? I don't even know. It's on my old preview thing. I'm in live. Oh, for 35 minutes. Okay, yeah, we're definitely playing a couple more. So we've got unclaimed territory, we've got a temple. It's gonna let us play this. It's gonna let us play this. Ooh, no, well, we, we can fix for a land. Uh, worst case, we could play this, I guess. It's not a dinosaur though. E either way, this will let us look for land and our opponent's going first. So yeah, we're definitely keeping this. Oh, mono blue, that's, mono blue potentially is very good. So we'll play this. A little unfortunate we got the commune because we would have liked to, uh, is he gonna do something? Okay, he's like, I'm gonna opt. That'll teach ya. Ho oh, ho, I'm gonna draw a card. I just wanna scry, man. Come on, like, just let me scry. Why you gotta do this to me? I never wanted... I didn't want it to be this way, frankly. Okay. 
Zero top, one bottom. I guess that's kind of good. Um, we already we already have one of these, so I don't. What a sucker! He paid one mana to scry. I got to scry for freed from playing a land. I mean, I'm all that. Okay, so he's like, I'm holding cards. Commute? Do I commute a dinosaur as a marauding raptor here? Um, so we're playing Dino. I'm guessing this is the. Uh, I mean. I mean, let's play it. He might have a counter spell or some flash. This is like the flash deck or something like that, so. Okay, all right. Um, but, okay, if this is a mainly blue, if this is all blue, mostly blue, these things are going to be insane. We got to get the lands. We got to get there first, but these cards are going to be nuts against him. Oh, wow. My dog is here. Hey, Yuki. It's very hot out for dogs, by the way. Will he let me play this? Probably not. He probably just wants to use his counter spells. Yep, not surprised. This really stinks. We are very... We're actually incredibly unlucky here, because just think, we, uh... So we've drawn two... We've drawn twice, and we scried one, and we haven't drawn any lands yet. That is pretty stinky. Okay, that's quite good for us. Uh, we're gonna... Right, dinosaur again. I guess I could say shaman. Um, I think we just try the regisaur. Like, what? What's the harm? If he counters it, he just counters it. Who cares? There's a pearl mystic. Okay. It's okay. We don't really want it out anyways. Once we get these ceratops going, if we can get if we can get another land off stop, come on, help us out, baby. It's gonna hurt him bad. Yeah, here we go. Counter this, you jerk. It can't be countered and is pro blue, Haru. What do you think of that? Oh, you want to use a, you want to use one of your instants, your counter spells? Ooh. Oh, opt. Oh. Oh well, if I can't counter spell, I guess I'll opt. Are you gonna counter it? What are you gonna do? That doesn't do anything. Also, this is pro blue, you fool. What are you gonna do? Attack? It can't attack me anymore. Can I give this vigilance? No. What are you gonna do? Target it? Yeah, it's pro blue. You know what's really gonna make you sad? When I play a second one. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take your turn. You got a counter spell? Uh, you got a counter spell in there? Cause uh, I got something you can counter. This. Yeah, it can't be countered. Haru, 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 please. Haru, Haru, no, no. Don't, no. I misplayed, I actually misplayed here. Yeah, it can't be targeted, it's pro blue. Yeah, it's pro blue. Yeah, it's protecting from blue. You know it's pro blue. Okay. Yeah, you can't block with any of these because these are all blue. Yep, okay, great. Do you have a non-blue card here maybe? Yeah, yeah that doesn't do anything. I don't care about that. Haru. Haru. These are, they're pro blue. I think you're in trouble now, buddy. Let's make sure we know how to protection works. MTG protection. Protection, let's see. It doesn't take damage from it, right? Uh, is this how it works? Let's find out. Damage by sources from the specified quality is prevent the object with protection cannot be damaged by sources with the specified quality so if that's true which i hope it is i can block this and haru is about to find out the rules of protection the hard way we found out online on a wiki he's about to find out in life so but just remember this oh yeah it's pro blue did you know that it's pro blue I'm so i'm so sorry haru <laughs> i'm so oh man buddy i I'm so sorry. I mean, do I commune with dinosaurs here? I mean, yeah, I think we for sure commune. Are you gonna counter it? Oh, wow, he might have, maybe he, he, he maybe should have countered it. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh man, I'm so oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. That is that was just sad. All right, we got time for a few more yet. Oh, that was funny. Oh man, that dino, that blue, that blue. I can't. It, the fact that I drew two in that hand, he must have been again another another game where that guy must have just been upset. Also, P.S. My dog. We'll see if we can get a shot of her. My dog is on the floor. You can't quite see her. She's like trying to sleep or something. I don't know why she's even down here. It's kind of hot. It's hot outside for her, so. Um, we could, uh, we might be able to make this work. I'm very hesitant. We don't have two green here. Now, the deck is mostly green sources, so. Uh, that's so bad. Your opponent goes first, so we're going to draw. I think we mulligan, actually. Well, yeah, well, we need one more green source we're going to draw. So turn one, we're going to draw. Turn two, we're going to draw. Turn two, we'll play auto pack. Turn three. So we're going to get three draws before we could potentially play rip jaw. Yeah, I think we keep this. Let's keep it. We're going to get three draws before we potentially play rip jaw. Fail failure number one. Let's play that. He's going to look at this and be like, oh, wow, a Rakdos, a Rakdos Sacrifice deck, maybe? Is that it? Okay, so we got a Phoenix, dude. Wow, already has a Phoenix. Oh. Um, do I play the Ode pack or the... I think we play this. Yeah, we play this for sure. Although we could just shock it. That's a little bit troubling. Eh. Eh. Charter course. Okay. Two Phoenix in the graveyard already. That's not good. It's gonna shock it. God, so so lucky. He's got. He is the perfect. We are so dead. Look at this hand. Look at this draw. That is about as perfect as a person can get. Dinosaur. I did screw up though. If I had played the Raptor, I could have. Uh... Oh, actually no. I couldn't. I could have played anything. So we have to hope he can't get those Phoenixes out yet. And I guess also hope he doesn't have an answer for this already. Because if he doesn't get the phoenixes out and he doesn't kill this, I mean, we're going to get the Regisaur Alpha out. Oh, okay. That's a good sign. I mean, he's going to have another land, though. He could have two. He used that shock already, though. But most of it's, he keeps looking at it, too. God, that's frustrating. <laughs> stop looking at it. Dude, stop with the lightning strike. Oh, we are very lucky, I think. Is he going to discard another phoenix? I mean, we're dead, though. We're dead super fast. Two phoenix in the bin already. A lava coil. So he thinks that he is very safe right now. Let's make him rethink that. Let's make him sorry he thought that. Uh, yeah, sure. Because he's about to take a... Pow. Yeah, he's about to get hurt bad. Pow, pow. Okay. So if he doesn't kill this, I'm going to play this. And he's going to die immediately, basically. So... Okay, shock my face, play that. He's gonna get us two Phoenix. We might still be able to beat him here. Actually, I think we will. So here comes those. Oh, he kept. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. So that's what he did. Alright, so. If we can keep this Regisaur Alpha alive, which I would really like to do. Ow, ow. So are we going at him? No. We're going to wait, because we want him to hold these Phoenixes back. So if he can't get rid of this, we can definitely win this game. Don't, don't, don't do it. Flying Man? Flying Man. Those are out of his graveyard, though, right? Yeah, so now he's got to be holding it. Oh, I do not care about it. Flying man, I do not care about a crackling drake. This is a big oopsie for you. You don't realize this yet, but it's a big oopsie. Okay, all right. Uh, so let's let's count up our damage. He has eleven life, and he can block two, four, eight damage. And we are gonna have two. So he's got eight plus eleven. He's got nineteen. We've got two, four. Yeah, what? I'm not counting anymore. I'm done counting. Hey, flying man. Perhaps you've met my friend, Galta, the Primal Hunger, and send them all, please. Let's get them. Ah. 
I mean, he's dead. He's for sure dead right now. <laughs> oh, man. It feels, so, it feels so good just to smash him with dinosaurs. It's such a good deck. It's such a strong deck. Oh, man. They stopped giving us two bins, two little bitties. Now we only get one bitty at a time. Um, we've been going... Oh, gems! Gems, 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 gems. They don't, it means nothing to me. 590 gems. Um, a cosmetic for netcaster spider. Sweet. 25 gold. Sweet. All right. Let's do one more big dino game, which hopefully we win, because that'll make be a nice cap on that. We've done really well with this deck. What, do we only lose to that white deck or something? That's incredible. We've just gotten really... I mean, we are in the low of the low of ranked, although gold is where stuff gets really dark. So opponent... It's another one of those games, right, where opponent goes first, and I'm stuck with this, like, hand that I'm not... But so far, it's been turning out. And again, right, I'm going to draw. I'm going to get to scry. Yeah, we're keeping it. Now, you know what's going to stink? I'm going to draw, and it's going to be that stupid, uh... I mean, stupid commune of dinosaurs. I'm going to be like, God, I wish I had, uh... <laughs> oh, okay, that's great. We did want to see a land here. And we either want to see a mana sink... Um, yeah, we'll keep it. Because we have lots of... We have two four drops, and we do not want to not get our four drops out. Yuki's saying bye bye. Goodbye, Yuki. She out of here. She's out of here. Um, this is scary because it looks like a deck that does good stuff. Oh, this enters tapped. Okay, so we have to play this now because we don't have any two drops and I don't have a. Oh, no, no, I don't have to play it. Not that it really it doesn't make a difference, so. So we'll play out the Brontodon. We could, could kill us with the Brontodon. I don't know if that really does anything. Probably not. Yeah, we're getting punished so hard again for having to go second. It always stinks to go second against these type of decks. Nice. The only good part about this is we might. So this should come into play untapped, right? Yeah, let's get the Brontodon out there. I mean, we got lots of card draw. The only thing is just, I don't know what this deck is, so he's going to get to draw two cards off of this. He just got a gift of paradise, though, so. Stand by and watch. It's really frustrating, right? Just not this. This stuff is so frustrating. Well, I've done the hero we would really like to get our pro blue dinosaur in this game. It looks like this. got lots of little. What do you got? Flood of. T okay, so this is a combo deck, which it's looking like we're gonna lose because basically we have a slow start. We went second. He's got all the all the cards he needs. Okay, so that is really good though. Um, dinosaur because I'm not sure he's going to have a way to deal with this, so. All right. Okay, here we go. Return all. See, it, this does deal with it, though, so. It's got one, two, three, four. Bron does Brontodon do anything for me here? He really, I'm really hoping he can't do anything. It's possible he has, uh, okay, Gift of Paradise. What does Gift of Paradise do? Tap for an extra mana, and two mana of any color. Guild globe, okay. It's got a lot of stuff here. I'm trying to decide if I kill these at all or if I just hit his face. I'll protect you. Tell him to turn target land you control becomes basic land type of your choice in addition to its other types. I mean, we're. <laughs> I mean, we are definitely. We have definitely lost here, so. Do we play this or Ripjaw? And what does this do? Add two mana of any color. Add two mana of any color. So he's got a ton of these. Ripjaw doesn't help me really, I don't think. But, uh... Hmm. Let's play it. I mean, he's got this, so one, two... I mean, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose too. He's gonna play omniscience and play spells for free and stuff. So this is a combo deck. If you haven't done it, we'll let him. I mean, we'll obviously undo it. Good for him though, playing in ranked. And I don't know how strong it is. I'm sure like red deck wins, just obliterates this deck because he doesn't get to play any of this. None of these cards get to come out essentially. Yep, not too bad for me. I'm not actually. You don't actually have that many permanents. So yeah, there's omniscience. He's just holding the whole combo. 
feel like I should just get out of this game. Um, okay, he's holding two omnisciences. Yeah, there's Knight, Narset. There so and now I'm not really sure what happens. So there's Tamiyo. You can play this, right? It's everything for free? You may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana cost. Yeah, we only have the one Brontodon, so it's not like we can even kill two of these. It actually would have been interesting because we could have killed these things, so he's gonna play those. I mean, does he, uh, is there like Nexus or like, what does he play to uh, win? Because I'm pretty sure we lost at this point, so. Oh, with Akaya. Makes sense. Okay, you get this in. You get the sense. We don't need to play this out. <laughs> it's just really boring. Very, very boring. Um, yeah, let's try one more. Since we had such a not exciting game there. Alright. Old sleeves here. Cubo Bagre. People's names are so weird. <laughs> uh yep, I like this hand a lot. Only problem is the only problem is do I have to play this out tapped first and wait? I mean, we can wait on it. We actually don't. There's no reason we need to play commune first turn. So, and we may even just discard it immediately. So, do I need a mountain? I don't need a mountain here. Get rid of that. Although, there's an argument I could have played it. It is nice we're going first though. Ooh, yeah. So, good thing we kept that stuff. Um, so, we're going to shock in Odapak Boy. Okay, good. No shock from our opponent. That's great. It kind of doesn't matter if he shocks it, because I'm just going to... If this is red deck wins, we should be in really, really, a really strong position here. Um, okay. Yeah, awesome. Because, right, we don't actually... I mean, the only thing it would have given us would have been um, haste there. But oh, we probably just play the forest. More likely we're going to the forest here. And we're just playing this. And I'm guessing we're just getting rid of Swamp. Yeah, sure. I mean, none of his creatures are getting through this. I don't think. He needs a ton. So what are we dumping here? I think we want to keep the Collision Colossus because that could help us finish this game mighty quick. Um, we could just dump the Commune right now. I don't think we need the Commune. Because if we get rid of this, we're going to play the Regisaur. Oh, if we play the Regisaur, though, we're going to... Yeah, so we dump, we dump this because... Do I hold on to this? I think I hold on to the swamp because next turn I have to discard two. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's another one. Cubo, Bagre, or whatever your name is. So, uh, do you want to block this? Please don't block it. Oh, that is, I would say, a mistake. <laughs> so he needs, like, a lot of stuff to get rid of these things. If he attacks, I don't think I even block here because I don't, I don't want him to even be close to getting rid of this. Like, he has to double lightning strike to get rid of one of these, right? Um, do I want him to draw cards? Or just, I'm pretty sure I'm just taking damage, right? Like, have her deal four damage? Yeah, I, no. You can draw. I don't care. Like, I don't think I care about what you, whatever you... Nothing, there's nothing you can draw, really, that matters here. And now I can block this for free, so... Uh, yeah. So, yep, I'll get rid of this and this. So, Odapek and the Swamp. Oh, he's he's just dead here. Like, 100%. Yeah, this one. And, 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 and. Dinosaurs into red deck wins. He should have played a creature. Wouldn't have mattered, though, I don't think. Goodbye, Cubo Bagre, whatever your name is, which is a goofy name. Just... <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> it's the stupidest. It's just the stupidest thing. 
Oh man, Two, those rot rotting regisaur is an insane card. Okay, well hopefully you got the picture. Um, you can find the deck on MTG Goldfish. There's also someone on Reddit who went through it, kind of they talked about when you should play and what you should do. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna call it and I'll get this business on YouTube, all right? So everyone have a good one and I appreciate you watching. Thanks, all right, bye-bye.